Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome to Smash That Small Paper Pad. This is a collaboration put on by Deb Houck of Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. We do it each month on the 25th and the idea is you pick a small paper pad and you smash it. You don't have to use it all in one month, but you get it used up, get it out of your stash. I used Authentic Liberty. I made patriotic cards, but then I also wanted to show you how you could use paper like this for other cards. So maybe you have a limited stash or you see an amazing bargain and you think, could I use that? Almost always, yes. Every once in a while, there's a super specific holiday one that's tricky to pull off. Let me show you what I made. I'm going to get my scraps out of the way. I marked some for July daily. I absolutely love this paper. So sometimes I'll take one and set it aside and know that I want to use it for something else because otherwise I'll use it all. This reminds me of my grandpa's shirts. And I don't know what this pattern is called. It's not really a plaid, right? Because it has the different sizes, but totally reminds me of my grandpa's shirts, which I'm sure the designer put that in there for a reason because this paper kind of fits my grandpa. Then I have a bunch of this paper with stars. It has really complex and specific words on the back of it. I might use this in my July daily and I'm not sure which side, but I could also just make another card with it. Not sure. I did not like these little like pin up -y cut aparts. Didn't like those. I bagged those so I wouldn't keep mixing them back in and have to sort them. I have a few cut aparts left. I might use them in my July daily, but I'm not really into the barbecue one so much. I like the trucks. I really liked these in the end, but they were on the back of paper and I think I already glued them down. So I just realized, oh, I want to use some of those and I don't think I have them. There were so many cut aparts in here and a bunch of these pinup ones that I used the other side. So I had fewer of them. These are my actual scraps. Could make another card. I think I have scraps on the inside of all of these already, or I might use them in July daily, but I'm calling this one smashed. You won't see it next month. I have a couple cards right here that aren't done, but right after I make this video, I'll probably turn these into finished cards because I need to give them to someone in a couple hours. <laughs> she asked for birthday, thinking of you, and something else, and I just, I don't have enough, so I'm gonna put some more together. Look at this. This is a really easy idea. It's kind of the same as what I did last month when I did the 67 card, so if you missed that, I'm using those two inch strips that are left over when I do my background here. And then I put the card, the cut aparts on one piece of cardstock. I didn't make them separate because they were a little large and I was in a hurry. So if you put them on one piece, it's faster. And that's also why I didn't cover the seam. I tried to make it so the seam was an additional accent to the card. I have one where I covered it, but it took more layers of paper and more time. I mean, I, made most of these this morning. This one is dogs and it's really patriotic, right? But I don't know, I might send this to you in August or September or November. America, the beautiful land that I love. And see, this one has song lyrics and stuff back here. So very patriotic. Let freedom ring. I like the boots, love with the flag. Again, the three in a row. And then I just die cut some stars and added them. I haven't, on the patriotic cards, I haven't embellished them because I'm thinking I'm going to put them away for months, most of them, and they'll just get kind of messed up. Also, on these vintage -y cards, I don't really know what I want to embellish with. Does that make sense? I don't feel like it's bling necessarily. I don't know. I have a little bit of trouble on these. Okay, this one, I covered the seam. It was really big. The way it landed on this card, I didn't like it, so I covered it, and then I put the stuff across, but then I had to prop this up with cardstock underneath it so it didn't get wavy. So this one took longer, and that wasn't going to work for me. Not today. Then let me show you the others. So I took red, white, and blue paper and made a birthday card. I kind of love this one. The balloons, I will tell you, they were already die cut. They were in my stash because I like red, white, and blue. Happy birthday. On this one, I didn't add any red. I resisted the urge because there were so many that were red, white, and blue. And I thought, well, maybe just a navy. Nice for a masculine birthday card. And sheet music behind it. 
Get Well. I thought this would make a lovely card for a quilter. This is a pretty neat card. Hugs. This one I still need to do some embellishing on and the Get Well. Like they need a little more bling or some, not bling, but this one I thought would be really cute with flowers. And I have those navy flowers somewhere. I just need to find them and glue some on. Thanks. Uh, I don't know what I would put on these. I have a couple of these and I was struggling with them because it's a big die. There's a lot going on already. I might leave these just the way they are. They'll mail really nicely. Thinking of you, I tried the ribbon because I was trying something, didn't love it. The thinking of you was already cut and in my stash, so I just used it. This one has not Wink of Stella, but a competitive product on it. And this one doesn't. I have all of these really nicely cut and laid out and just ready to go. Mm, oh, this one's a weird one. I tried this with stickers from the collection. Didn't really love it. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I don't know if life, I mean, the and had to be with life, liberty, and happiness. It's not attractive. I'll try and fix it with some more stuff on it. That one didn't work out for me, I don't think. But I think these have great potential. This is the same paper. On this one, I flipped it, but then I decided I didn't really like it because I don't really understand what it is. I think it's just a cute little pattern. Love the polka dots and this plaid. Is that a plaid? These are a nice setup to work with. You can put your sentiment up here, and then you can put a big something down here, or you can put something across this to bring the parts, just like I did last month. It's really just a way to use up those strips after you've cut a bunch. Oh, and then this is my very, very fancy piece of paper. All of these in the beginning, that's how these started. These are the measurements for them. Mm, not that one. So if you look at this and you think, okay, what are the dimensions for the layers? This is it. So the small pattern is the one in the back, four and an eighth by five and three eighths cardstock. There's your measurements. And the big pattern, the one that shows, these are your measurements. So you could just stop it or take a screen print of that if you want that. Sometimes people ask for the measurements. So if I jot them down, I am happy to share. And you can always ask me later too. But I just don't do one of those coordinating blog posts with all the measurements because that's just not the fun part. I'm calling it smashed. Some of you might, you know, disagree a little bit, but I think I made it. I think it counts. It was an early morning for me. This is what I'm gonna work on next month because what I realized is I'm just running so late. I should have done this paper pad in June. I should have had you pick red, white, and blue in June because this collaboration, it comes out late in the month. So for August 25th, I'm gonna do Cartabella, Hello Autumn. I, you just, you don't get to pick. I mean, I have it, I love it, I wanna use it. I have the puffy stickers. I think I probably have the whole entire collection, but I just thought these I grabbed and I want to make some cards with this. And these would just be such fun gratefulness cards or hello or thinking of you in the fall. I just, I have to make them. I love fall papers. I get really excited about them. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the other collaborators in this video. You're gonna see all kinds of things. Smash That Small Paper Pad isn't just about cards. You will see maybe cool mini albums. You'll see embellishment ideas. This collab has all sorts of fun things. So check it out and I hope that you get inspired and you come back next month to see these amazing cards because I think they'll be fun ones. Bye-bye.